hello students welcome to byju's exam prep spotlight a show uh, where we bring our toppers or achievers into the spotlight and listen to their inspiring exam uh, preparation strategies and the journey that they have gone through so uh, this is saral nashir your host for today and uh, in spotlight today we have uh, a person who comes from a very small town named jaleshwar in uh, odisha and of course even after have uh, being from such a small town he had very big aspirations and with those uh, uh, i mean for those inspiration for those aspirations and with a good determination he has scored a good 99.36 percentile in cat exam and finally uh, uh, i mean got admitted into a college which is a dream for uh, probably most of the students who are writing cat yes that's i am ahmedabad so uh, he has finally converted it so i Uh, welcome ashish ladda here hi uh, ashish welcome to the show hi sir thank you sir uh, uh, so ashish first of all uh, congratulations for this uh, of course huge milestone i would say i mean the day you would have started preparing for cat you also must have had this target and achieving that target at the end of the journey i am pretty sure that the journey would not have been that easy for you as well Yes, sir. I mean, it was a roller coaster of a ride. So I won't say it was easy, but yeah, I mean, there were a lot of ups and downs. But yeah, I kept going forward, and finally, I'm I'm in the bar. Yeah, that's very important that you just keep that enthusiasm going with it because normally people lose that endo after a few months of preparation, or uh, they probably start feeling demoralized as well. So uh, that's a great achievement, anyhow. So, but let's start, Ashish. Let's start uh, talking about first of all your uh, educational background. I mean, uh, the place you belong to. Something about yourself, because I would want all the people who are watching you currently just to relate with you. That uh, I mean, is Ashish something special, or he is also uh, one of those same people that uh, who, who is preparing for CAT alongside us? So, uh, hi, sir. I'm I'm only a normal human being. so i am ashish ladda i am a chartered accountant i have also cleared a uh, company secretary's executive and post qualification i have been working with uh, infosys limited in their uh, business finance team and have handled uh, various portfolio and as you said uh, i belong from a small town in uh, of odisha that is jaleshwar uh, it's surrounded by beaches but yes uh, i mean from there i took the journey of cat and that was it so Okay, okay. So uh, I mean, you told me that uh, you have completed your chartered accountant, and then after that, CS course as well. Normally, I mean, it is the uh, people feel that this is not such an easy thing. The 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 easier way you have said it, it is not. Uh, I mean, that easy to do probably. So we all know that you must have been a studious. Uh, I mean, kid in your school days as well. uh yes sir uh, i mean uh, not studious but uh, i used to take studies very uh, seriously but apart from that i always used to make uh, i mean somehow make up make time for myself as myself as well uh, i used to play uh, lawn tennis i used to play chess so it's a balance of thing and i had my priorities very clear and chartered accountancy uh, i mean that's that's the identity i have right now so Yes, okay uh, so we can't say that you were uh, a bookworm basically so you were yes, an athletic guy as well along with the studies and kept a good balance between the two right so yes, that has always been there but uh, did you have a knack for numbers because normally we say that people who uh, complete their chartered accountancy they are normally good at mathematics was it the case with you as well yes sir um, i mean that that i mean i can relate to it uh, math has always been interesting uh, math has always been an interesting subject and in all the three papers i mean cat uh, apart from that i also gave uh, zat xat and iift i scored 99 plus percentile in all those papers in quant section so this is one of those subjects uh, i mean i used to enjoy very much i mean it it was not like that i was preparing for this subject but uh, whenever i used to give time i used to think uh, okay that's two hours for me i can enjoy this subject i can take any topic and start working on it so that was there sir rather even uh, when i looked at your uh, score card i saw that uh, you have not scored uh, i would say i mean the way people would be thinking that a person who get admission into iim ahmedabad must have scored heavily in all the three sections and i saw that uh, your score in lrdi was 
not something that uh, unimaginable thing i mean it was somewhere around 97 98 percentile in verbal ability as well i think it was around 98 99 and overall in uh, quant it was more than 99 because of that you had a very balanced score i would say slightly on the higher side in quantitative ability but uh, i mean in the other two sections it is not that a person would uh, always feel that okay if i want to get into i am ahmedabad i have to get these 100 percentiles kind of scores in all the three sections you played beautifully there i saw that yes sir uh, true sir uh, even uh, even i was not that good in varc i mean lrdi uh, i believe it's a bit of luck somewhere when you choose the right sets so when i was taking the paper i believe uh, i did not take the first set uh, correctly so that's where i just wasted around 3 to i mean 3 to 5 minutes over there and then i took the correct sets so that was the game there but in varc i i was not that uh, i was not scoring very good in mocks i can say that but uh, coming down to the d day i kept myself very calm and composed and uh, got those questions correct so a balanced portfolio was there for me so that's that helped me to get a good percentile you know absolutely absolutely that's great that's great ashish so i mean uh, as you said that after graduation uh, you completed your ca and then cs as well so at what stage you thought that i would start preparing for cat now and uh, i mean this is the exam that i have to go for uh sir it was during my uh, i mean uh, when i was working with infosys uh, my all my managers were uh, were graduates of stanford and i am ahmedabad and the way they used to think it was not only about finance they used to look it from a very different angle it's not only about finance it's also about a bit of hr bit of organizing thing uh, general management in in a way so that's when i i, I thought i can take up uh, an mba so that whenever uh, i mean five to six years down the line i can uh, take up bigger challenges bigger projects so so that's where i took up mba okay okay and how did you start uh, your preparation for that i mean of course uh, when you thought that okay this is the exam i'm going to write what was the first thing that came to your mind as far as preparation is concerned uh i mean i consulted a few guys from i am ahmedabad and i am calcutta so they asked me to take up a mock initially the first thing was they asked uh, to take me a mock initially and i remember very correctly i just scored somewhere around 67 to 68 percentile maths i scored 95 but dilr and uh, uh, vrc was not on that uh, side so it was around 65 66 percentile overall but then i overall can you just repeat uh, the statement i mean i want everyone to hear this actually yes i scored around 65 to 68 percentile but uh, maths i was very good at so i scored about 95 percentile Uh, but in varc and dlr i don't want to discuss my score over here so that was not very good but uh, i think I you up... must discuss ashish now you are in i am ahmedabad so you can say anything i mean of course this is the truth so you must say so varc was in the red zone it was below 40 percentile and dlr was uh, somewhere around 50 to 60 percentile uh, so that that so that was uh, my overall percentile was in 65 to 68 range sir and okay. from then onwards i took up coaching with uh, byju's exam prep and uh, i rigorously followed uh, saral nashir sir i mean he is a magician uh, of maths okay. and uh, savitri ma'am for english and for srinivasan sir for dilr so i rigorously followed them and i gave on mocks there were a lot of times when i did not score well but i did not give up i always used to think okay this did not go well i can overcome this shortcomings and go for the next mock next saturday sunday so that was there and i kept on following this process and ultimately uh, it was i mean uh, the power of compounding rather we can say that way so that helped me on the d day so but looks like your interview i should be showing to my kids as well ashish honestly speaking i mean you have been a big inspiration then i mean a person who scores 65 66 percentile in the first mock probably do not even think of i am ahmedabad at that stage you would start feeling that even if i get into a uh, i mean b grade b school that will be a big achievement for me and you have entered into i am ahmedabad i mean this actually deserves a big round of applause for you honestly speaking i mean the way you kept your cool you prepared for it that's beautiful as beautiful other i would say you would be an inspiration for many other students who would be looking at this and they must be feeling dejected at a percentile of 75 80 right 
आई हैव सीन पीपल यू मस्ट हैव हैड सम आई मीन फ्रेंड्स ऑफ योर्स एज वेल इनका 75 85 परसेंटेज है बट स्टिल दे आर फीलिंग नो आई कांट प्रोबेबली रीच आई एम अहमदाबाद बिकॉज़ आई एम गेटिंग 80 परसेंटाइल इन कैट is it correct i mean you must have had uh, i mean your friends like that as well yeah there were a lot of people but i always used to believe i mean i mean my parents always used to tell me if it's tough for you it's tough for everyone in india Absolutely. i mean my father was my support system so always he always used to say me if it's tough for you it's tough for everyone in india so don't worry about that and there were a lot of friends i mean uh, i had they used to get dejected earlier but uh, then we formed a, a i mean a study circle and it was very good from then and there was that's great ashish so 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 good to hear this so i mean uh, normally it is said that cat is the toughest exam in india as far as aptitude is concerned you started preparing for it the first percentile was 65 68 i'm sure that dejection must have come to you as well at least a little bit uh, i mean you, you must have been a little bit demotivated uh, motivated as well at that time because a person who has cleared ca exam cs exam at that stage he sees that okay i'm getting 65 68 percentile so i mean a little bit of uh, demotivation uh, is i mean uh, it's very common and very natural for any human being you must have faced some other challenges as well i mean can you just talk about them i mean what are challenges that you face uh, in your journey uh, sir uh, to put things into perspective i would say i was never dejected but yes i knew where the shortcoming was i mean i know when i scored 65 and 68 percentile i was very clear that maths is my uh, maths is my strong subject vrc was the one i used to, i had to work on and during the course of, of the study i i gave around 30 to 40 mocks so that was there but uh, there was uh, i mean if, if i if i plot the percent uh, the percentile i got in vrc i will never i mean i don't know where it was heading towards sometimes it's in the 80 range sometimes in 60 sometimes 95 i don't know what i was doing but yes the process was on i always used to read uh, three to four aeons i used to do a uh, practice of uh, passages uh, find out the shortcomings what mistake i made and that process continued for that and for dlr it was a uh, very simple for me just have five to six sets of day every day and that's enough for me so that was there sir so it is rightly proved by you that hard work has got no substitute right so if you have something in your mind that this is my destination wherever i am basically i can say with hard work i can definitely achieve that right yeah, you have proved sure. it Sure. That's great, Ashish. Yeah. That's great. So, in this journey, I mean, uh, when did Bajju's exam prep came into this journey? I mean, how did you get to know about uh, us, and uh, when did you got associated with us? Uh, sir, uh, initially, when I gave the mock, uh, I, I mean, first of all, it was you only. Uh, I mean, I just saw some of your YouTube videos, and the way you used, you used to explain maths, I just believe he is some magician. I mean, how easily he can can he explain the concept? so that's when byju's exam prep came came to me and i took up the mocks uh, i mean uh, the classes and the mock series and uh, it was from there and during my interview preparation it was rinivasan sir uh, so he helped me a lot also sir so that was when byju's exam prep came okay okay that's good. so basically uh, through the youtube channel watching those videos there you yes, uh, basically sir. came with us right yes sir Okay, okay. And what was the preparation strategy that you uh, followed? I mean, uh, because uh, scoring this ninety nine point three six percentile is not an easy task. And as you said that initially your percentile was uh, pretty low. So I'm sure that uh, most of the students who would be watching this interview, they would uh, definitely want to know that what strategy did you follow to go from sixty five sixty six to this ninety nine percentile? I mean, uh, something that they also can follow probably, or they can take a hint from. and they also can succeed in their life uh sir uh, since i was uh, since i was working with infosys i i had to give around 10 to 11 hours of time at infosys also so that was where i was working with but uh, then i had to make time for this uh, cat preparation also so i made sure i take out around 3 to 4 hours every day from monday to friday and saturday and sunday it would be around uh, 6 to 8 hours not more than that so saturday and sundays were basically reserved for mocks uh, and and its analysis and from monday to friday it would be around a uh, one and a half hour of vrc one uh, one and a half hour of dlr and one hour for uh, this uh, quants okay. so i kept this pattern uh, and i followed it rigorously sir 
Okay, okay. And for how long you did you uh, do this, Ashish? I mean, since when you started preparing? I mean, how many months were left for you for, for CAT preparation? With you? Uh, uh, I believe I started it from end of May only. I mean, towards the last week of May, I started preparing for CAT. CAT. So, oh, so basically, hardly six months were left for you. Uh, I mean, uh, for the preparation, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. So in six months, you went from 65, 66 percentile to 99 percentile, and that's primarily, I would say, with a good strategy and, of course, hard work. These two things combined, they worked for you. Yes, that's good. That's so, so good to hear, Ashish. And again, I would uh, like to know a little bit about Baiju's exam prep. I mean, how did they help you in this preparation? I mean, of course, uh, as you said that uh, you watch these videos as well. Is there any other way through which uh, we could be instrumental in your uh, journey here? Uh, sir, Baiju's exam prep has helped me a lot. First of all, uh, the dashboard is very good. Secondly, there is a 24 into 7 doubt clearing mechanism at uh, Baiju's exam prep. So you can ask your doubts anytime. And it's not that I had to wait. Uh, within uh, within a span of minutes, I used to get my doubts cleared. And thirdly, uh, during my interview preparation mainly, uh, I mean, uh, the teach, I mean, the faculty assigned to me, he has helped me a great, I mean, in a great great way. So, I mean, he refined, he helped me what all to say, how to, I mean, know myself better. So that was there. So in this way, Baiju's exam prep has helped me a lot, sir. Okay, that's good, good to hear. Good to hear, Ashish. And among all these things, I would say, what is the best uh, thing that you found over there? Uh, I would say 24 into 7 doubt clearing mechanism because there used to be some doubts that used to come up. If, if it is not cleared instantaneously, instantaneously, so it would have been left behind. So if that is cleared on that, then and there, so it's, it's great, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Good, Ashish. Though I know the answer to the next question, but uh, still I would ask you, would you like to recommend Baiju's exam prep to the other students as well? And if, uh, if yes, and what are the tips that you want to give those students uh, about this exam? Uh, definitely, yes. Uh, I mean, I recommend people. And secondly, the tips is just have a good pattern. Just never get demotivated uh, on seeing a low percentile. It can be that five of your five straight mocks goes does not go your way, but there is always a sixth mock that you can try for. And thirdly, uh, be, be disciplined. So I think the power of compounding, it's a very good thing. And you have done that. I mean, we can see that normally people uh, don't accept that. But uh, a general candidate basically getting uh, converted I am Ahmedabad with not very good scores in uh, VARC and LRDI. I am uh, saying this again and again, not to tell you that probably your scores are not that good, but I'm just telling it to the other people. Whoever uh, feel that, okay, we are not good at all the three sections. How can we get a call from I am Ahmedabad? And we also keep telling them that just focus on one area, score heavily over there. In the other two sections, you can score 90, 92 or more than that. Probably that can also take you to an IIM Ahmedabad. And Ashish is the biggest example of that, right? Though, of course, uh, he got it uh, through his hard work. And there have been other things as well in your life. So if I ask you, what were those? Can you name just three people or three things that uh, would have helped you? I mean, uh, achieving this beautiful destination. So, I mean, uh, any and anyone or any anything that you can... Uh, I mean, uh, pay your uh, home is to, uh, oh, sorry, uh, pay your uh, basically credits for that. Uh, I mean, first of all, it would be my family who have been my support system, uh, first thing. Secondly, it would be the teachers, each and every teacher, not only from, I mean, from Baiju's exam prep, but also from YouTube. I just shot two to three teachers were there. Okay. And thirdly, it would be me. I kept myself going forward. I, I never got demotivated. So demotivated. So that would be. That's absolutely, absolutely correct. Because uh, believing in yourself is always important. Without that, of course, you are uh, nowhere. You would not reach at any point. Yes. So that's great, Asis. So, so good to talk to you. And uh, of course, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, knowing about your journey and knowing about, especially this fact again and again, I'm talking about this uh, from 65 percentile, uh, getting into I am Ahmedabad within a six months period is just remarkable, just remarkable. I'm so happy to uh, uh, hear you out, right? And knowing about your journey, it was so inspiring. Thank you very much, Ashish. And I'm sure that other students are also going to help, uh, a lot of help. I mean, they're, they're going to get from this interview for sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So Thank you, Ashish. Thank you very much. Have a very good day and have a very wonderful life ahead as well. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye-bye, Ashish.